Hey guys, this is going to be a very short tutorial on how you can do transitions like this. With the push of one button using Stream Deck. My friend Larry made a tutorial the other day. He was live on how to do these overlays, including, I think he had sound effects as, as well, but I'm going to jump into a super condensed tutorial. And again, you push one button and you can change scenes. and have a sound effect and have it be super snazzy. All right, so this is how you do this. I'm gonna go over to Stream Deck and show you how to do it, all right? And if you get a little lost, just rewatch it because it's a video. All right, so here we have Stream Deck. Now, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what this one looks like, okay? So what I have is when I hit this button, I want a sound effect to go off. I also want to show the overlay then I want a slight delay, then I want to run the new scene with a slight delay, and then hide the overlay. Okay, so in multi-action, so you're going to go in your stream deck and you're going to select multi-action. Uh, let me see if I can move this down a little bit, sorry. You're going to select multi-action and then add all these things. Okay, so let me go back. So let's start a new one. So over here, you're going to have your regular um, stream deck options and then you're also going to have down here your ecam options so it's kind of a combination of both so you're going to drag multi-action into whatever box you want all right now you need some actions here in your multi-action thing so go over down to ecam live and i'm going to do play sound so i'm going to drop that in there and now i'm going to tell it what to what to do so i'm going to have it play sound I'm going to have it do the short stinger build up and down because that's what I call that. And then at the same time that that goes off, I want the um, overlay to go and that transition overlay. So I'm going to do show hide overlay and drag and drop that here. Now I'm going to tell it what overlay to be and I already have it selected in there. So you select whatever overlay you have. Then you want to set a... Um, a delay because if you just have this and then go to your next scene it's not going to completely cover that first scene so I'm going to go back up to the stream deck options and drop a delay in I found that switching this to um, delay I don't really need to rename that 3000 which is the equivalent to three seconds works best for me then I want it to go to my other scene um, so I'm going to drag and drop run scene in here and I'm going to tell it what, what scene to be on. So for me I want this to be the um, coach and student, so the, the two picture scene that you saw. Then I want to sh uh, set another short delay here, doink, 3000. And then I want to hide that overlay because if I don't hide it, the next time I hit it, it's going to like hide it and not activate it. So with any overlays, you like hit it once to show it and hit it again to hide it. So that's essentially what I'm doing here. So show hide overlay down here. And then I should be all set. So now if I go back up here and if I hit this new button, it should do that swiping thing, give me a nice audio, and then go to that scene with two people. So here I go, I push the button. And there you go. All right, so you can just follow those steps and let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye, bye, camp fam, bye.